Okay, guys. So today we're going to talk about the uh, 5.8 gigahertz, 1,200 milliwatt uh, video transmitter and receiver. Uh, we've had some questions about it recently. Uh, some people are having issues with the transmitter. Uh, they do not know that before they power the transmitter on, the video trans or the video uh, TX antenna needs to be connected to it. So we're just going to give you a quick video today about how to connect and set up the transmitter and receiver. So first thing, uh, whenever you open the package, these are all of the parts that you're going to get. Uh, you have your audio video cables for your transmitter and you also have your audio and video cables for your receiver. Uh, you will you will receive an audio and video cable that is extra in the package uh, that can be used to connect to different monitors. Um, also with the transmitter and receiver you will receive two power lines for connecting to Dean's plugs. Uh, if your camera does not connect to audio and video cables like this you will also re receive another set of cables like this which you can cut and then solder onto your camera to uh, to plug into your receiver or your transmitter. And one other connector is this. Uh, this connector right here can be used to connect to a panel antenna. Uh, the connecting size uh, the connecting size does not match up for most panel antennas. So we went ahead and included one of these connectors to go along with it. Uh, this will fit most panel and or this will actually fit all panel antennas from uh, 12 dBi going up to 24 dBi. So let's get started and show you how to set everything up. Uh, first, with the video transmitter we want to make sure that the antenna is connected. If you power on before connecting the antenna, the transmitter will burn the the transmitter will have the electronics burned inside. So first things first before we set anything else up, let's go ahead and connect the video transmitter antenna. Now if you take a quick look, there are two antennas that come in the package. Uh, one is longer, one is shorter. The shorter antenna is for the video transmitter. So let's go ahead and connect the transmitter antenna to the video transmitter. Uh, after that, let's go ahead and connect the receiver antenna to the receiver. Uh, now, once we have the transmitter and the receiver connected, we can go ahead and connect the audio, video, and power plugs. So in order to do that, it's a very easy setup. We just plug the cables into the transmitter, and then we can also plug the cables into the receiver. So now all cables are connected. Let's go ahead and get ready to connect to our battery sources. So we plug the Dean's cable connector into the power line here on the receiver. We will do the same thing with the video transmitter. So now those two are ready. Let's go ahead and talk about the camera. Uh, today we're going to be using a camera that has the video and the power lines connected. Now, if you don't have a camera with the audio and video connectors like we just showed you, uh, this package comes with another set of cables. And what you can do is you can cut off the end here. Black is for ground, white is for audio, red is for your power, and yellow is for video. So what you can do is you can cut off this end, and then take your lines for the camera, and just solder them together. Uh, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna solder the black cable to the black cable, the red cable to the red cable. Uh, this white cable on this particular camera is for your video, so you would solder that to the yellow cable. Uh, on this set of wires, and once again, it's black for ground, white for audio, red for power, and yellow for video. 
And so you just match your corresponding wires and solder them together. So let's go ahead and connect the camera. It's a very easy setup to the transmitter. We'll go ahead and connect the video signal and the power line. Okay, now that the uh, camera is connected, we will connect the receiver to the monitor. So let's go ahead and connect the receiver over here to the monitor. Now, once we've connected the receiver to the monitor, we're going to connect all of our power sources. So let's power everything up. So video transmitter is on 8, video receiver is on 8, and we have our camera here. So that is how you use the, uh, that is how you use the transmitter and the receiver and get everything connected. Um, as long as you follow, as long as you follow the simple guideline on connecting everything, you shouldn't have any problems with it. And thank you for watching. Uh, in the future, if you want to see any videos that you may not know about, you can always find us on our YouTube channel, and you can also find us on Facebook.